and during the Mosaic law, Levitical priesthood era, there was truth, but very little light. Maybe a 10 watt bulb, where now the light is shining as the sun. You get the comparison. <laughs> Shall we pray? Eternal God, our Father, we come today in the name of Jesus. In that name that you have given us, whereby we might be saved. By your grace, through our faith in who he is, what he's done, and why you said that we need to put our belief, our faith, and our trust in him. We thank you for bringing us this truth, for bringing us this light about your eternal plan for man's destiny. We bless you and we praise your holy name. Now, Lord, as we go and discuss today's question, open our spiritual eyes of understanding that we might behold your truths in spite of us having fallen short and miss the mark. We thank you for your eternal inheritance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This has been a, a trying week for me. My uh, beliefs in Christianity, Christ in Christianity has been put to a test several times. I've had to go back to the Bible to make sure that I, that I was standing on solid ground because some renowned preachers uh, came forth with some statements that would stagger the imagination. Um, one in particular was whether or not God hears a sinner's prayer. So, in this theme of Jesus is the light, well, the first light we want to turn on is do you think God hear a sinner's prayer? I might have mentioned this before, but the answer is absolutely not. Does God hear a sinner's prayer? Absolutely not. A sinner has no standing with God to be heard with an expectation of God acting on what he hears. We know that because he's God, he hears everything. But does a sinner have any expectation that God will hear his or her prayer? Absolutely not. Now, let me tell you why. I'm an evangelist. I try to bring people into the kingdom of God by giving them the gospel, the light. And until they get the internal light of the gospel in their heart, God does not and will not and cannot hear them until they have come to a saving knowledge of who Jesus is, what he has done, and why they need him. That's why this program is called entitled Jesus Christ Awareness. Uh, whoever, it's a disservice to the individual to tell him or her who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior that God will hear their prayer. He will not. And the Bible does not say that he will. You must have a personal relationship with God through faith in his son by grace through faith, through the setting apart work of his Holy Spirit and your belief of the truth, only then does God hear prayer. 
That's why the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, who he is, the son of God, what he has done, he came down to die for the sins of the world. Not only the sins of Israel, but the sins of all nations, in all cultures, in all ethnic people groups, all over the world. One death for all the sins. Now, this is light. This is for the enlightenment, sharing knowledge with you, information and wisdom of the ages written on the pages of this holy book. So, does God hear a sinner when he or she prays? Nope. If you want God to hear you, you better go find out something about his son, Jesus the Christ, first. Now, I'm not talking about Israel. Because Israel was saved before Jesus came. So I'm not talking about Israel. I'm talking about you Gentile. I'm talking about we non-Jews. All over the world. So, does God, and my faith and my belief was tested again uh, just today when another preacher made the statement that God, that sinners are looking for God. Hmm. I asked him, where can you find this? I haven't read any place in the New Testament after the death of Jesus Christ where a sinner goes looking for Jesus. Let me say that again. I can't find any place in the New Testament after the death of Jesus Christ where the Bible says that a sinner has the ability to go look for Christ. It won't happen. Because all sinners are under the direct control and influence of principalities and powers of wickedness in high places. And he or she must get their permission before they can go. The permission is not forthcoming because Jesus says a house divided against itself cannot stand. The devil is not going to allow his subjects to go and search out Jesus. And the Bible does not say that it does or that he or she does. If you go and read Romans chapter 3 verses 9 through 20, which is the state of the world before the death of Jesus Christ, and the status of an unsaved person subsequent to his death, nobody was looking for, for God. And not only that, it wouldn't do, if you were a Gentile, it wouldn't do you any good to look for God because you go over to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 3 and 11, verses 11 and 12, and it tells you if you were uh, a non-Jewish person during the Old Testament era, you didn't have no covenant relationship with God. You didn't have any hope. We're talking about light now. And when you turn on, it's, 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 it's different in reading this piece of paper underneath, underneath studio lights been sitting on my couch with a 40 watt bulb. It's maybe 500 watts. So the light is more, is more illuminating. So I intend to illuminate you more than what you can get when you go to Sunday school and church on Sunday. 